Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 24 Area and Perimeter Exercise 24D Question Number 3. And this is the first one, right? It says find the area of each of the following figures, right? We have to find the area of these figures and again same thing uh, we are not having a simple figure right we have to do something in this because this is not parallelogram triangle square rectangle right anything like that so we cannot use formulas directly we have to do something in the figure only we have to make some changes in it then only we can um, use the formulas right so what we'll do here is simply like the previous questions here also we will break the figure into parts right like this figure it does not have a particular name but we can make it into parallelograms triangles squares like this we can break it right now you have to look for that that what thing can i uh, use here like where uh, should i draw a line so that i get a completely new figure right see here that um, if i draw a line all the way from 9 here till this one right from this line to this point we can see here that what do we get here this is a right angle because this one is also a right angle right okay and here also right angle now what do i get here observe what do i get here is that um, see here that one triangle okay one right angle triangle and on the other side what do we get a square right all the sides equal this will be 9 if this is 9 then this will also be 9 okay this is 9 so from here till here right not this entire thing but this and this will be 9 and from here all the way to this one okay from this point to this point that will be what 13 so it is given in the question see in a square all the sides are of the same length and already we know that two sides are of 9 centimeter or meter whatever so other two will also be 9 simple right now see here that we can use our formula now that is the area of square and area of triangle and using that we will calculate the area so very simple first of all okay uh, we can even put it like this that this is the first figure this is the second one okay now in the first right figure again calculate the area so very simple area equals to side square because this is a square so we will put side side square that means 9 is the length of one side and then square right that will be 9 into 9 and what does that give us 81 fine so the area becomes 81 what uh, units right 81 square units we don't know units so put any unit you wish okay 81 square units this becomes our area now let's move on to the next part now for the second figure okay for the second one area now this is a triangle so we will do what 1 by 2 into what into base into the height right this will do so 1 by 2 into bases what see base this one 9 and then into um, base and height you can take any it doesn't really matter that much and here this becomes what 4 how 4 see out of 13 this part is already 9 units so remaining will be 4 only right so into 4 now 2 and 4 cut them 1 and 2 so 18 square units here this becomes the area now add them together to get the total area fine which is 81 plus 18 so 99 square units fine this becomes our final area okay or you can say the answer now let's move on to the next part now let's move on to the second part and here we have again we have a figure and we have to first of all uh, divide it right so uh, again look in this figure carefully okay because it is not given directly you yourself have to think 
how can I break it down so that I get two different figures from this one figure. So um, if I look here again we can draw one line here right okay this is basically till here this is a straight line only I'm not drawing it in between it right so something like this uh, and you can pretty clearly see we have one um, this rect uh, rectangle and one triangle okay okay so what we're going to do now is that for, again calculate the area so let's keep this as first part and this one as the second part right so area of the first part right what is it six cents and one more thing um don't write six here this is length into breadth right see here um five and five here okay and six and six here right if this is six the side opposite to it is also the same length because that is the property of rectangles that opposite sides are always equal um, now see here length into breadth will be what 6 into 5 right and that will be 30 square units so this becomes our area and now we move on to the second part right so area of the second part that is what again it's a uh, triangle so we will use a different formula right what will that be 1 by 2 into the base into the height fine so what is it going to be okay this is 5 this is 4 and uh, this one right it is 3 okay so see here what we're going to do 1 by 2 into base and into height so 4 Menroko. so this becomes what 4 and 3 right so this will be 1 by 2 into 4 into 3 cancel this cancel this 1 2 so 6 here so again 6 square units right don't forget to put this this is basically the units okay 6 square units this becomes the area so total area after all becomes what 30 plus 6 that is 36 square uh, sorry not centimeter units fine now now let's move on to the next part and again see over here we've got another figure and what we're going to do is again we are going to break this into two parts fine so first one uh, we'll do this one right from here till here okay this becomes the first one okay first line and again yeah we don't need to break anything else here right so this will be the first part and this will, will be our second one right so again same thing here area in the, sorry not in the area of the first part right so area of the first part right or figure will be what this is a rectangle and see length of this side will be what again only one side we know here that is this one 5 right but other okay this also is not correct because this is from here till here but our triangle is from here till here right so we need to reduce some length and same goes for the base right so we can easily see here 1 by 2 into base into the height right we don't know any of these two but we know one by two so keep it like that in two now first of all the base see base this entire side from here all the way till here is nine and this part is what three if i remove three from nine we will get the remaining part right so nine minus three is six into and then again same thing for height this much part to, uh, the total side is 5 but see this one here remainder right this part that is left out is 1.5 but it is also part of this only right but if I remove this 1.5 from 5 total so we can get the remaining length and remaining length is our height so 5 minus 1.5 right 
that is 3.5 fine now cancel this cancel this 1 and 3 so 15 1 10 and point here fine so 10.5 square units right this becomes our area now see here that for the second figure right for the second figure sorry in the second part right what have we got see 9 sorry this is what a rectangle right so area of this figure will be what area equals to rectangle this is so simply length into breadth right you don't need to think that much fine length into breadth and out of the four sides we know two sides which are having different lengths so we know what we uh, ha what we need right now that is length and breadth two things are there which we need and we already know them length is 9 breadth is 1.5 so do that 9 into 1.5 that will be 5 4 9 and 3 1 13.5 fine square units again and for the last step what we will do is total area okay we will calculate the total area which is what 10.5 plus 13.5 and what is that 10 13 23 and 5 5 24 right 24 square units this becomes the total area fine and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one Till then, take good care of yourselves and bye-bye.